What's up YouTube? Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm discussing the brand new horror film directed by Steven Soderbergh himself, Unsane. Let me say, say something about Unsane. I have such an incredible passion for filmmaking myself and as being an inspiring filmmaker, I give such full props for Steven Soderbergh being this very experimental director when it comes to him making films. And looking at Unsane, the big draw for me for the, seeing this film was the fact that it's only filmed with an iPhone 7. Given knowing how I am, I know how film looks. I know the difference between an iPhone camera and a normal camera. And you can tell in here that it is filmed with an iPhone. For all, this is a really small, little, tight, good thriller. It's not a horror film. It's more of a psychological thriller, if anything, if I would put it into a category. But I overall really enjoyed Unsane. And I'm surprised to say that because when this film started, it dragged. And this is my one big complaint with the film, is it dragged. It was cheesy. It was just... The script was not there in the first act. This first act was horrible. Like, I mean horrible. But the second the story kicked in, when a certain element of the story finally pieced in and finally showed me what was happening into the story, that's when the film got better. And by the third act, it had just climbed and climbed and had climbed to the point where I was really enjoying this film. Really, I think that helps is because of the performances in here. Claire Foy in here is fantastic. I've really never seen her in much, but now I'm going to keep my eye out for her because she is fantastic in this film. Really just, she makes you feel like you're crazy too watching this film because the way her character is, is you're trying to say, is she crazy? Is she not? And it makes you kind of feel crazy like watching her do this. And I think filming this film with an iPhone actually added to that effect because then you kind of feel like it's so claustrophobic and so thrilling that you're just so close to the person that it adds to a layer of an effect of what Steven Soderbergh was trying to do and I like the perspective he used with the camera and the certain camera angles that he used and I would not be surprised if he was his own cinematographer for this film because I know he's done it before and I wouldn't be shocked because it really felt like the director was in control of every single part of this film, the way the camera moved, the way the shots were put, and it, it just was fantastic. There were, like I said, the beginning it just felt super cheap, and it I, at the beginning I was like, damn, this could just be a short film. I don't, I don't think this should be a full feature film. By the end of the film, it does warrant that full feature film likeness to it, but seriously, that first half felt really poor. So the performances are all around great. Claire Foy is really the big standout here. Jay Farrow from SNL is also in here, and he's very well done. And there's some other noticeable actors that do show up that I had no idea were in this film. And when they show up, I'm like, that's a great addition. I like that. The film overall keeps you on the edge of your seat. It kept you intense, wondering what's going to happen. Is she? has this good niche humor to her and that's something that the script did really well is having good humor weep throughout it that didn't seem over the top but was perfect for the situation overall i really enjoyed unsane like i said that first act if you can get through it, it it's gonna be great i don't think this film's gonna really do great at the box office but i will say if it's in a theater near you i would check it out this weekend and if you catch it later on video on demand really it's worth the watch that iphone 7 thing is it's insane that he filmed with it it's gonna be such a different thing for the future of filmmaking i think i I would be surprised if he just started using iPhones for the rest of his film. It's very inspiring coming from someone like me. Like I said, seriously, get through that first act. I promise you, it builds and builds and builds and gets better. And I overall enjoyed this film. I would recommend it. I don't think I'll ever watch it again. But it leaves you thinking some certain things at the ending. And I like when films do that. With all that said, I'm going to give Unsane a B. Guys, what are your guys' thoughts of our insane? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you think this was a piece of trash? But also tell me what your favorite Steven Soderbergh movie film is. I'm curious to hear what you guys think because he does have a really wide variety of movies that he's made that are very much well done. I, I This film right here in this corner, Logan Lucky, is one of my favorites that he's done in a very long time. Also, guys, if you guys do want to talk more movies, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure not to miss out on any more of my other videos. And also, make sure to go check out all my other social media links. You got Twitter, Stardust, and even Instagram, where where we can talk all sorts of movies. And plus, guys, if you do want to see some movies early, make sure to go check out Sandwich on Films down below. That's another way to support me. Go check out the website. You guys can get some advanced movie screenings, check out some movie news, and even some other movie reviews. And seriously, you guys are all the best. Stay classy and look out for more reviews soon.